Let's talk about this word judge because there's a great controversy and confusion over this topic. And we all know that God is not the author of confusion, but Satan is. And so let's get some, let's get an understanding about this word, about this word judge and what, and what it actually, and what it actually means. Um, because I see that, I see so many people, I see so many people are quick to quote scripture and say, uh, judge not or condemn not when somebody is bringing an issue forth or they're speaking on something and people and people are quick to and people are quick to defend um, idols or leaders or whatever the case may be. And clearly when the leader is out of line and out of, you know, and out of order. And so uh, let's discuss it and see what the Bible has to say about it. So we go to Matthew chapter seven, verse one, it says, judge not lest ye be judged. So off top right there, we get the command, which means, which telling us to judge, telling us to judge not. But first Corinthians chapter two, verse 15 says, but he that is spiritual, he judges all things. So right there off top, Sounds like the Bible that is Bible is clashing against itself. Like there's some type of contradiction there. But if we study the scriptures and we dig a little deeper, then we'll be able and we'll be able to get some get some clarity on what the scripture, why the scripture is saying what is what is saying, so that we won't be so that we won't be clashing because scripture doesn't contradict itself man does so we have to get we have to get understanding of the scripture the bible tells us to study to show thyself approved we have to get understanding of this thing so that we so that we know what we're talking about and that we can talk with confidence so the first one Matthew chapter 7 verse 1 judge not lest ye be judged that's when you look into when you when you look in the when you look into the Greek word for that it means krino, krino meaning to pronounce over or sentence. Keep now follow that pronounce over or sentence someone as in trying a case something like a judge. It means to it denotes it denotes making a final decision. So. That's the first word, crino, which means to make a final decision. Then you have the second scripture that I read to you. He that is spiritual judges all things. That word means anacrino, anacrino. So the first one is crino, meaning that you're making a final decision over. Anacrino means to examine, investigate, or question in order to discern the difference between right and wrong. You got that? Anacrino means to examine, investigate, or question in order to discern the difference between right and wrong. Now, I think that we, I don't even have to say what needs to be said in order for us to under, in order, in, I don't have to say what needs to be said because I think we get it. But to provide clarity there, we do not have the authority to crino, make a final decision over, basically telling someone that they're going to heaven or hell. We do not have that authority. We do not have that authority as believers, but we do have the authority to anacrino to judge a situation or people based on something being right or wrong. And it's coming, and that judgment is coming from the word of God. It's not coming from our own standards or our own belief systems. It's coming from the word of God. And so in that is rightly being judged. Scripture tells us, the Bible tells us to test all things according to scripture. And it also tells us to judge a man by his or, or woman by his or her fruit. So we have the authority to anacrino, 
This is what's literally this is what literally stops people from being manipulated. This stops people from uh stop people from being um you know from boundaries being crossed. This stop to stop things from people people from being tricked. You know what I'm swindled, bamboozled. To notice when a pastor is literally in the pulpit speaking false doctrine as a uh, a shepherd uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing as opposed to as opposed to a real one. The crino and anacrino literally gives us the blueprint for it. Of course, I'm not supposed to judge any anyone that's been labeled as a false as a false shepherd, as a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. I do not have the right nor the authority to tell that person that they're going to heaven or hell because I am not God. I did not create that person. I am not their master. So I so I cannot I cannot make that call. But I do have the call, but I do have the authority and the call to say whether you're right or whether or whether you're wrong. And it's based on scripture and scripture being scripture being the final authority because it's because it comes from God who is the highest or the final authority. And so just throwing that out there so that so that you so that you won't be tricked, bamboozled or swindled by any of these by any of these false ones out, by any of these false ones out here, or somebody who might be trying to uh, lie to you, the reason that we know, the reason that we know that adultery is wrong is based on scripture. The reason that we know that uh, judging crino is wrong is based on scripture. The reason that we know that gossiping is wrong is based on scripture. The reason that we know murder or stealing is wrong is based on scripture. And we can and we have the authority to speak on those things and call it out. And another thing I want to add for all the people who just say we're supposed to love, we're supposed to love, love, love and judge and judge not, judge not. Everybody going to attack you over their babies. That's that's one thing that's like off limits for most adults. Like we ain't gonna play over we ain't gonna play over our kids. For most parents, because the world is going crazy today, but for most parents, if your child is being if your child is being taught something at school that's harmful, that's harmful to them, as a parent, you're gonna judge that. You're gonna anacrino that. And you're gonna go up to that school. You're going to go up to the school and you're going to handle and you're going to handle let's see fit without without giving without giving a second thought to it. There are a lot of people that's looking for the truth. There are a lot of babies in the faith who don't know. And even the world is wanting to know the truth. But when we hold back our anacrino, when we hold back our anacrino, we are literally giving the enemy leeway to have his way to manipulate, swindle, trick, and bamboozle, and bamboozle the ones who don't know. It's not so much about it, not so much about us, but it has everything to do with standing up for the truth, especially, especially when you have the government, when you have the government making calls on what's legal and what's not. Making the calls on what's right and what's wrong now. When we've known the government to be this entity over here, it's now it's now beginning to make certain calls out of its own authority, basically setting itself up as God. We as people of God who know truth, right and wrong from scripture, we as people of God, we have to be the ones to step forth have to be the one to step forth and say that, hey, this this legislation is demonic. Whether y'all choose to believe it or not, I'm going to call it out for what it is. It's demonic. It's demonic. It's wrong. And you're going to lead many people astray. You're going to lead many people astray by this. We have their right to and we have their right to anacrino because there is a world there's a world out there there's people out there who still want truth there's still a remnant a god remnant of people out there 
as it says, the harbor, harvest is plentiful, the laborers are few. There's plenty of people out there who still, will, who still will get saved by the truth if we just speak it and stand up on God's word and stop being so afraid and stop being so scary to let the truth out. There is a group of people that will be saved if we just open our mouths and not be afraid to speak the truth. But I hope we got, I hope I clarify some things for you all. I hope there's, I hope there's a definite understanding now again. So, so you can know well, pastor is preaching something wrong. You definitely have the right and authority to go and question him along with anybody else. You definitely have the right to go and question them or test that, as scripture says, test that by scripture. We shouldn't be, we shouldn't let man be our final authority anyway. God is our final authority and he gave us his word to test all things and everything by. So I love y'all. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Peace, I'm out. Sweat it to the truth, nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible, y'all point me to the booth. Sweat it.